Hey there, my name's Terry. I'm a car guy. And uh, this is actually one of my vehicles. But I want to show you my uh, new favorite ride. Come with me. Here she is. It's a 2015 Nissan Leaf. 100% electric vehicle. We've had it for about a year now. And it's a really well designed car. Super fun, sporty. It's got lots of torque, lots of pep and lots of room. So we love it. So really this is this is the car of the future right now. And uh, the big change has just been the battery technology. So that's a technology that is here and it's happening right now. And so consequently these cars are becoming more and more popular. I've always wanted to get an EV ever since I saw that they were uh, coming out and they're being uh, produced by the manufacturers starting with Tesla and now the Nissan Leaf. This is one of the best selling cars in the entire world. They're selling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these vehicles. In fact, they're so popular, you can barely buy one because they can't make them fast enough. All right, so let's talk about maintenance. Well, uh, there is none. No oil changes, you don't have to worry about the radiator fluid, none of that stuff. Uh, let's talk about charging. Well, it's pretty easy. In fact, all you have to do is go like this, bing. And then we just uh, plug in the charger here. And then that's it. Now the great thing about this is you're charging at home. You don't have to go to the gas station. It's super convenient. So the nice thing about this is that you come home, you charge it, and you've always got a full tank. You never run out of juice, ever. You drive around town, come home, plug it in. It's that simple. And what I really like about this car is no gas, no fumes, no noise, and it's really cheap to drive it and maintain it. So it's not just like 10%, 20% better, not even double. It's like five times cheaper. Okay, uh, let me start her up. Now, if you don't think emissions are important, try this with your gas guzzler. Start up the car and sit in a closed garage for a while. It's running right now and you can't hear it. Now, I like that car so much, I decided I wanted another one. So I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy. I used to work on hot rods and classic cars and that sort of thing. So I decided to do it yourself. I'm a big believer in the DIY. And so I made my own electric vehicle. All right, so here it is. I really needed a pickup truck and I wanted an electric vehicle and I wanted to do it myself. So here she is. So I found this, she's kind of a beater, but uh, good rolling vehicle. And what I did was, I took out all the old <clears throat> parts and put all new parts. So now, she's battery powered. Runs 100% on electricity. All right, so this was kind of a summer project. I actually got it from gas to electric and running up and down the alleyway in three weeks. So it was, um, it was very challenging. I worked on a lot of cars and this one, uh, this was a challenging project. Um, one of the fun things though was initially just ripping out the motor, ripping out the radiator, chopping the muffler and the, pulling the gas tank. All that stuff was very cathartic. The next part was trying to figure out how to put all the components, where do they fit, what goes with what, what connects to what. And uh, that took some time and a lot of research and a lot of planning. Uh, so this is actually what I would call phase one. There's probably going to be uh, phase two, phase three, there could be up to phase six, who knows. But in any case, phase one was just really to do the conversion and get it so it could drive down the street. So that's where we're at right now. And uh, phase two will be doing uh, more of the body work, adding some gauges. I'm going to put a custom uh, grill in the front here, probably a custom bumper. I'm going to have a tilt rear end, or sorry, a tilt bed at the back, that type of thing. So that'll be phase two. And then phase three, I'm not sure when that'll happen, but I'm probably gonna switch out the batteries because I'm waiting to see if battery prices drop, if I get my hands on used lithium batteries, whether someone's gonna come up with some crazy solid state battery or something like that. But I figure uh, if I wait a couple years or even uh, wait till next summer, something more exciting will come along. 
Uh, for all the nerds out there, anybody who's interested in the, kind of the nuts and bolts, uh, the mechanics and the electronics and the electrics of the vehicle, uh, this is a kind of a, a mix of older and newer technology as far as EV conversions go. So we start with the AC motor. So it's AC, not DC. And the beautiful thing about the AC is it's a little more efficient, but it offers regen, which means every time you slow down the lights, it regenerates and adds electricity and charges your batteries. Same with uh, going downhill. So you go uphill, you use energy, you go downhill, and you regain some of that energy. Now up here is kind of the different various components. And this is the brain, basically this is called the controller. So that takes the electricity and then runs the motor. It's like a little mini computer. Over here we have a charger for recharging the batteries. Over here we have your throttle. And over here we have what's called a DC-DC converter. That's essentially your alternator. You don't have an alternator anymore, you have this instead. There's kind of two systems. There's like a high voltage system and a low voltage system. So high voltage is your traction battery. So this battery pack consists of 12 12 volt batteries. That adds up to 144 volts. So this is a 144 volt system. It uh, provides enough power and also top speed that you can cruise around town, go up hills, uh, go on the highway, whatever you need to do. We still have a little 12 volt battery here and that runs all the electronics and it runs all your lights, headlights, turn signals, etc., your radio, kind of like uh, the old system. So that doesn't really change much. Now in this truck, it's actually still using the clutch. Some people, uh, with their EV conversions, they like to keep the clutch and they like to shift. But you don't really have to. You can just leave it in second gear and uh, just drive it like that. This uh, motor will go up to 20,000 RPM and you get instant power right at zero RPM. So you don't really need to shift. That's only something that uh, a gas engine needs to do. Now, I've just started testing this vehicle, but the range I've gotten so far is about, uh, well, I did 52.4 kilometers the other day, and that was just driving it like normal, uphills, downhills. I uh, wasn't really babying it or going like in econo mode or anything like that. So I'm pretty happy with that. These are lead acid batteries. Uh, they're not as good as lithium, but like I say, this is phase one, and uh, I'm just happy that it uh, drives down the street. It's still good enough for me to go down to the lumber store or uh, drive around and <clears throat> do errands. All that stuff, totally doable. So one of the things they say is if you've got an electric vehicle, you want solar. And if you've got solar, you want an electric vehicle. It's kind of the perfect one-two punch. So if you look up on our roof here, we've got this solar array, which just gives us enough electricity to run the things in our house, and plus makes the two electric vehicles essentially solar powered. 